So good morning to you on this Wednesday morning. We continue now with Psalm 78, reading from verse 40. How often they rebelled against him in the wilderness, and grieved him in the desert. Again and again they tempted God, and pained the Holy One of Israel. They did not remember his power, the day when he redeemed them from the adversary, when he performed his signs in Egypt and his marvels in the field of Zoan and turned their rivers to blood in their streams they could not drink. He sent among them swarms of flies which devoured them, and frogs which destroyed them. He gave also their crops to the grasshopper, and the product of their labor to the locust. He destroyed their vines with hailstones, their sycamore trees with frost. He gave over their cattle also to the hailstones, and their herds to bolts of lightning. He sent upon them his burning anger, fury and indignation and trouble, a band of destroying angels. He leveled the path for his anger. He did not spare their soul from death, but gave over their life to the plague, and smote all the firstborn in Egypt, the first issue of their virility in the tents of Ham. But he led forth his own people like sheep, and guided them in the wilderness like a flock. He led them safely, so that they did not fear, but the sea engulfed their enemies. So he brought them to his holy land, to this hill country which his right hand had gained. He also drove out the nations before them, and appointed them for an inheritance by measurement, and made the tribes of Israel dwell in their tents. Yet they tempted and rebelled against the Most High God, and did not keep his testimonies, but turned back and acted treacherously like their fathers. They turned aside like a treacherous bow, for they provoked him with their high places, and aroused his jealousy with their graven images. How sad this psalm continues to be. We see even that the next generation did exactly the same as their fathers. They forgot all the wonders that God had done for them in the land of Egypt, how he had rescued them from Pharaoh, the ten great plagues, how he led them out across dry land and then closed the sea back over Pharaoh and his armies, how he led them into the promised land and provided for them, subdued all their enemies before them. Yet continually, this, even this next generation continued to turn against God and they've continued until this day. How sad it is when we do not remember the wonderful works of God. So let's take a moment today to look back at our lives and to see and remember all the wonderful things that God has done for us. In Psalm 103, David writes, Bless the Lord, O my soul, all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. May we never forget what God has done for us. Let's now turn to him in a prayer of thanksgiving. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we thank you for a new day. We thank you, Lord, for your word that teaches us and guides us. Lord, we remember all the wonderful things that you have done in our lives and that you continue to do. You have been faithful even when we have been unfaithful. We pray that you would help us to be faithful to you. Help us to never forget the wonderful things that you have done and help us to teach them to the next generations that they too may fear your name. We pray for those who do not yet fear your name, that this would be the day that your light would shine upon them, that you would open their eyes to see. Lord, we commit all to you today. We ask your blessing over this day. We pray for the sick. We pray for the dying. We pray for all who are in need. As your word directs, we pray for our governments and all who are in authority, that you would give them wisdom, that you would help them make right decisions. We live in difficult times and challenging times. Lord, we pray that you would thwart all the forces of evil, all the evil intentions of men's hearts, and that people would turn to you, that your light would shine upon them. We pray, Lord, for your mercy. We ask that you would hear us now as we join together and praying. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. So my friends, I pray you have a blessed day today. God be with you, God willing, 
I'll see you tomorrow when we finish off this Psalm 78.